Hey, welcome to the farm. <clears throat> it's July 4th. We're gonna do an update today. And to start it off, let's check out where we looked at the uh, Weeby Littles and our little display pumpkins. You can see their vines are completely dying back. I've sprayed like a madman, but I'm kind of letting it do its thing. And, and uh, inside we've got a uh, hybrid greens and our orange Weeby Littles. So we're gonna use those for display coming up here in the end of September and the beginning. All right, guys, we're gonna look at the um, stages of the field again. So here's the seedlings. These are the 85 day racers. And those 85 day racers are gonna fill in the rest of the field. Uh, so we still gotta get those rows ready and the big open spots. And then the pumpkins over here that we have planted are the 120 day to 100 type. So it's kind of a stagger planting. And so these are the 100 days planted just a couple days ago. And you can see we have that row in. And then you can see the, our 115 to 120 day type variety. So these are the first ones we started planting. We're getting um, flowers every morning and we're pollinating about 20, 20 pumpkins. We got to hand pollinate here. So we're, but we're up every morning and we're pollinating in the morning. So these are the specialty longer type uh, sugar pie pumpkins and like specialty pumpkins that are gonna take a long time. So here behind me, we just removed the big black plastic and in the last videos, you could see we had our electric net fencing running down behind me. And where the green and brown line is, is our black plastic line. So the plants, you can see we're totally growing over the plastic. I had to move them. And now we have a lot of work to vineberry and get going. Right here is a butternut squash, our giant butternut. And besides a wind exposure torment, it's trying and it had a funky little fruit it wanted to set that we took off, but it's going and now I'm gonna bury its vine up a little bit. All right, this is some of the side vines. They've all blown forward. So I'm gonna untangle them and try to get them to set backwards. Okay, so we got those side vines out and I wanna get this main vine sitting down. We got this hammer happens to be right on a clump, of course, of grass. You see, I'm just, what I'm gonna do is kind of trace the vine where I wanna bury it and use the hammer. So. Here's a little triple something. This pumpkin's vine was really messed up. It's really wavy, it goes up and down. So I'm only gonna vine berry where it's making contact with the ground. I'm using compost. All the way up front, it's like one of the first side vines. I'm gonna finally straighten it out. We're we're far behind on butternut, but there she goes. I'll bury her up. buried up and then we're gonna put in mulch of course too so we'll have our <clears throat> vines buried and then I'm gonna probably stake down the tips too so when the wind comes they don't roll but just got to catch up there's butternut squash we got green squash 
Okay, we're looking at the giant green squash. It's a, mom was about a 800 pound squash. Here's the main lead vine. It was way out here. Again, we moved that plastic and I just set it over on the side. I wanna get another fruit set up here. We, we've got the same problem. All these side vines have blown. I've gotta reset them, bury them. But we're just showing you guys. And then up here is a fruit right in here that didn't set. So we went ahead and attempted, but I'm hoping to get it set up here. This is an up close of the trunk on giant green squash. It's pretty impressive. The things, man, it's like a green garden hose, bigger and it's just cranking, it's really healthy. We just gotta work on our wind exposure, but I really like the green squash genetics. Okay, we're one more down from giant green squash. We've got our giant marrow. It's the first time we've ever grown a, a giant marrow plant, but the plant has gone bonkers this year. I would say we're at least 20 feet with our back side vines and it's coming forward real uniform. So this is the main running vine tip lead. You can see some baby marrows come in here. Uh, I do have one set already, but same thing. We moved the plastic. We're at least 20 feet down now on the, the main. And um, we took off, we culled off a fruit already. These two fruit are our first sets. We've left this fruit on and uh, yeah, so giant marrow. And this is the trunk on the giant marrow. Again, real healthy. Splits are healing over, no signs of disease, which is good. So it's chugging along. See it heading right down that hill. All right, so we're looking at the 120 day variety up close in the field. They're kind of filling in their rows. You can see they're running. Here's a pumpkin that just got pollinated. Okay, we have like four different varieties. We're not gonna go through all of them, but you can see that's about the stage they're at. It's one of the biggest ones that's pollinated inside of the 120 day section. Coming in with our giants. So that's pretty much our patch update. Um, we're gonna do something about the pickle worm coming up. So look out for that video with pickle worm. I know it's stressful for everybody. We've been having a lot of challenges and it's July 4th today, but you know what? Food and farming is great. Everybody get out there, love your garden. Happy July 4th. All right, so we do grow everything organically here on the farm and we're certified naturally grown. We go beyond organic. Uh, we really try to eat everything. So we're gonna experiment eating this marrow and we'll let you guys know how that marrow is. Um, maybe put it in the comment section. And also on a bigger note, kind of more serious, our food system, where our food comes from and what's happening, it's really similar to what happened to a lot of people who have been taken in this planet Earth away, the Native Americans, a lot of Native, a lot of Native people, their food is the first thing to be tampered with and it's so important on July 4th, our Independence Day, to remember where your food comes from and help support local farming because it's a really crazy time out there. And, Love from the pumpkin patch. All right, this has been Hawaii Green Earth videos on Hawaii Green Earth Farm. If you liked it, check us out more on our social media and YouTube channel, Hawaii Green Earth.